Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be playing nine holes at Windstone Golf Course. This video is going to be shot a little bit different simply because I wanted to talk over my golf shots so y'all can understand what is going through my mind before I hit these shots um, and what I'm kind of thinking about. I've been playing golf for nearly 20 years now so I probably think a little bit differently uh, than most beginner golfers around the course so um, we're going to go over that today. So on my second shot, I tried to play a little cut here um, around this tree and I cut it just a bit too hard and ended up hitting a tree about another 50 yards down the hill here. Um, and I ended up leaving myself a nice little 72 yard, um, 60 degree lob wedge shot here. So I'm pretty comfortable with that. And I ended up sticking it pretty close. Taken nearly a month off of golf recently, and this is where I typically struggle when I come back, is my short game. My putting was absolutely okay. atrocious throughout this entire day, um, and that's why my score is so high today, and you'll see that throughout the video. Um, but now we're on to hole two. It's a short little par four. You really have no reason to hit driver here, but I've been striping my driver recently, um, and once again, stuck to the plan. Hit a confident swing here, and um, really just striped it right down the middle. I left myself with 116. The flag was tucked in the back right. I hit a smooth approach shot here, and I really thought I hit a pretty good shot. It ended up being a little further away than I expected, um, but this really isn't a bad shot considering where the flag was placed. We left ourselves with about 15 feet. I really just didn't commit to this putt. I had a really good line, I think. Um, may have missed it a little low, but I just didn't hit the putt that I really wanted to. Just left it a little short. Hole number three, it's 151 yards. This is a solid nine iron for me. Typically I hit at 155, but it was cold into right. a slight breeze. Um, and I caught this a little chunky too, but I ended up bad, leaving this quite short. And I also had to show that I was grabbing my divot because I see a couple of you guys commenting yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I had a pretty long putt and the guy back here in the back, I felt like I had to rush simply because setting down my camera, I feel like I'm taking up people's time. And I didn't even take my time at all on this putt. I just absolutely Yay. killed it. I hit it 10 feet past the hole, and I knew instantly when I hit it uh, that I had goofed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world? Sorry, camera. Man, that sucks. Freaking terrible putt. For not even uh -huh. reading that second putt there, I just accepted the three putt. Off to the par five, number four. This is a very scorable hole. You always want to make birdie on this hole, so I uh, had to start this hole off good. Uh, I got distracted a little bit by the geese that started going crazy behind me, but ended up striping this drive down the middle. That's so spinny. After hitting a perfect drive there, I left myself with 186, and this is where I made the worst swing of the day. The wind is behind me here. I had six iron in hand because it is cold. Typically, I'll hit this club around 200, but this is a perfect example of not committing to a swing and just chunk hooking this ball and hitting the worst shot of the day. I left myself with a bit of a fill shot here. Uh, this is over a bunker and you can't go too long and I just hit this a little too firm and left myself with a testy 30 foot downhill putt that I really, really thought had a chance of going in here, but we left ourselves with a nice little tap in par. Dang it. Coming up on the short par four five, I hit a bomb of a three wood here. However, I pulled it just a little bit and ended up hitting it underneath the trees. Typically I'll hit a hybrid here off the tee. And I won't get into this tree trouble as much so on the left side. Be low. Um, however, I left myself with a terrible shot. I tried to hit a low just runner here, didn't oh commit to the dude. shot and just pulled it straight into the bunker. Now we have our bunker shot left. I wanted to get this just barely on the green and I landed it 
a foot short, maybe half a foot short, and ended up leaving ourselves with another tester for par. And this is a tricky putt. This is all the way downhill the entire way. And once again, I just didn't commit to the putt. Gotta hit it. The next hole, the par 3 6 was playing 171 yards. I believe I hit a 7 iron here. And the weird thing about this day is you'll notice I didn't hit any draws. And I have been playing a draw for the past 10 years of my golf career, and nothing was drawing. So um, that's just a fluke for me. But ended up hitting a really good line putt here. And left myself with a little testy 4 to 5 footer. And this is where I was struggled at all day. Once again, just didn't really commit to the putt. That putt broke a lot in that short amount of distance. And uh, once again, another tap in bogey. Hole number seven at Winstone is probably everyone's least favorite hole. And I don't know what it is. This is a straight par four. It's a tad bit longer. However, everyone seems to just bogey this hole. I absolutely crushed my drive here and set myself up for a great second shot. We had 161 yards. I decided to take a smooth 8-iron, and this is once again another example of not committing to a swing. I'm just blocking everything. That's so not typical. After not hitting my typical draw, I left myself just offside the green here, and... I left myself a very tough shot. This is into the grain. You'll notice I hit my practice chips here and I knew. I just had it in my mind that I was going to chunk this chip and I should have backed off of it. However, I didn't and I found a way to put myself in a nice little bogey position on hole number seven. I had a really good read here. I thought this was going to fall for a second. However, left myself with a nice little tester for bogey. Ended up knocking that down. And let's go ahead and move on to hole number eight. Just a nice smooth hybrid off the tee. Once again, trying to play my draw here and trying to commit to this swing. And I hit it really well. Just once again, All blocked it out today. to the right and left ourselves an interesting shot in. 161 here I had an 8 iron it was a bit uphill so I took a very firm swing here and I actually hit a draw however I ended up coming up just a bit short and we had a nice little chip shot onto the green to try and get up and down to save par chip shot I had here I was still thinking about the chip on seven and I got scared of this one and left it a little bit short however I put myself in a decent position to make this putt. Make a putt. After our first one putt of the day I got up on the tee box on hole number nine I said I'm going to take an aggressive line and committed to the swing and hit the best drive of the day. I was second shot, I had 202 yards, it's probably playing about 225, so I swung hard and hit it just a groove low. It was on such a good line. I ended up dropping another ball and playing the same shot, and you'll see where it ended up. It was so close. I have to be a legit eagle on my second ball. Now the chip shot that I have on my actual ball is very important. I have to leave this below the hole, and as soon as I hit it, I knew I made a mistake here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not a fun putt. This putt was an absolute knee shaker. If I miss this putt, I probably put this off the entire green, and luckily I hit a great putt here. And it fell right in the center of the cup. I was going so, off the anyways, green. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment Let's letting go. me know what you thought about the commentary Party of this to close video. It out. And yeah, so like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.